hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here and you do not already know my name is diane if you are not new thank you so much for coming back i really appreciate so in today's video basically i'm going to be doing a chit chat to get ready with me in today's video we're just going to be just in okay we're just going to be just in and i'm going to be doing my makeup as well i'm going to be telling you guys basically everything that happened in 2020 and my goals for 2021 that is basically what this video is about so yeah if you want to listen and hear everything i have to say please keep on watching this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up and just subscribe right now subscribe okay join the family i'm super happy to have you so yeah let's get right into the video when it comes to hair count me out okay so guys i'm just going to start and i'm just going to um be doing my makeup and i'm going to be talking to you guys as well so i'm not trying to make this video too long we're not trying to make it too long guys so i'm just going to try and be as quick as possible and yeah so i'm going to be dividing this video into two parts the first part is i'm going to be talking to you guys about how 2020 was and the goals i have for 2021 and then in the second part i'm just going to be answering some questions that you guys asked me because on instagram i told you guys to ask me questions that i was doing a live update and you guys were asking me questions although some of the questions were mainly about where i've been and how um 2020 was and my goals for 2021 so that's what i'm going to be discussing about the in the first part of the video so yeah i'm just going to start with that okay let me read out what somebody said someone said how was 2020 for you and what are some of your goals for the year okay so let me just start <laughs> let me um be doing my makeup because i know that this is actually quite hard doing your makeup and talking at the same time is so i'm just going to try i'm going to start by moisturizing my face because bro not so much guys i really don't know how to do edges to be honest like i just put this band so i can lay down the lace and i just hope when i remove it it comes out well i have no idea how to do edges i'm still learning i don't the way this hair is looking i know it's not looking all ah god this thing's tight i'm going to be priming with my maybelline this is just the baby skin um instant pore eraser i'm going to go into these two foundations i'm using the revlon color stay in 410 410 and the uh, Maybelline Super Stay in 355. Okay, so um 2020. Hmm, guys, 2020 was a year, like it was one hell of a year <laughs> with the whole like COVID and everything going on. But I would say that 2020 was actually a good year for me. It was actually a good year for me to be honest because I feel like I was going into 2020 with this like mindset that nothing is going to make me sad or make me, you know, make this year not be good for me. Like I went into 2020 with this mindset that it was going to be an amazing year. So when the whole COVID situation started, I was like, it's even a good thing. I'm not saying that COVID was a good thing, of course. I'm just saying that like quarantine, like stopping school and us being on quarantine and all of that to me i kind of needed it because i needed to take a break i needed to take a huge break from like everything that was happening at that particular time because 2019 was such a you know i don't even know what to describe 2019 to be honest 2019 2019 was one of the most annoying years ever to be to be honest, like 2019, I don't ever want to go back to that year. A lot of things happened to me that year. Different, different things, like different things. And then I was just like, 2020 is going to be an amazing year for me. Like, I'm not going to stress myself 2020. So that was like the only thing that was in my head. So when COVID started, honestly, to be frank with you guys, I didn't know that. I didn't know that COVID was going to. I don't think anybody even knew that COVID was going to last to this like to today oh so, like 2020 now i was like ah, quarantine okay we're going to stay indoors now thank god it's finally time for me to rest i'll be at home i'll gain weight because i was really looking to gain weight you guys i was like i'll be at home i will ah shit 
I will be at home. I'll try and eat more. I'll try and rest, gain weight, cause school, school on its own. School was already stressing me out. Like school was literally stressing me out. So I was like, ah, thank God, at least somebody can rest. But I remember at the beginning of um, 2020, in January, COVID actually started. Like it mainly started in March, but I know that it was there January, um, February, right? So in January, around like late January, my sister called me. And then she was like that oh that there's this um new um disease and then she was like that oh i'll have to go get mask and i'll have to go get gloves and all of that i was like what's all this i was like what's all this i know about the covid but it's not in ukraine yet so why am i stressing myself and then she was saying oh just go and get it just go and get it in case it's you know it escalates and everybody runs out of mask and you know all of that so i was like okay okay i'll get it me <laughs> God, I kept on procrastinating. Like me, that I'm a huge procrastinator. That is how. That is how I didn't get it until. Wait, this is already ten. This is already ten minutes. Jesus, this video is going to be long. Uh, that is how I didn't get it until they told us that we should uh go back home. Like, that was when we were like, oh, we're going to start online classes. And I was like, wait, dude, this thing is actually true. Like this stuff is actually here. I went to the pharmacy. And guess what? No mask. There's literally a pharmacy like downstairs from my house. Downstairs, there was no mask. I had to search. I was searching. There was no mask until I finally like searched and searched, and then I found in one pharmacy. And then I got gloves. Like I got a, a pack of gloves, guys. I was going to wear gloves outside. <laughs> I was actually going to wear gloves outside because I was like, wait, what is this? Like, what is actually going on? But from that time, I, I started taking this seriously you guys like if you <laughs> like my friends are like uh, oh my god what's wrong with me like i wouldn't allow do you know that i even stopped like my makeup like business because if you don't know i usually do makeup for people i'm a makeup artist so <laughs> so i actually stopped business like i was like oh that okay because of corona because of covid i'm not taking um I'm basically not doing makeup for anybody, right? And then that was the period that everybody wanted to do makeup. Everybody. Like, oh, can I? And then I was like, God. I was. Just, I just kept on saying that I'm not really working right now. I'm not doing. Ah. And guys, I was just like, oh Lord, the amount of money I was going to lose. But then, yeah, I had to do that because I was really scared at that time. I was like really, really scared of COVID. I wouldn't even leave my house, guys. I was so scared to even. Like, I was so scared to even leave my house because like I heard that it was in the air and all of that so I was really scared to even wear mask and leave my house like it was that bad but then that was like the beginning part like that was like when it started when it first started so tell me why five days later Dan is having headaches body pain flu sore throats what again was I having anything name it that was having it that time tell me why and then in my head i was like what's going on with me <laughs> this is not corona now like this is not covid this can't be covid because i mean it just started how can i have it when it's just starting honestly that period wasn't even funny at all you guys it was not funny at all i'm concealing now <laughs> i don't want to forget i'm concealing now my la girl um concealer in fun and nyx can't stop won't stop in um caramel so tell me why i'm having all these symptoms all these symptoms of covid like all the symptoms and then i call my sister <coughs> so i call her i call my mom i call everybody and then i'm like oh i have this i have it just like oh okay that is not covid it's not covid i should just do this i should just do that when i say it was not funny i was having migraine everything was paining me my whole body was paining me oh i was throwing up i was doing everything like i was sick i was actually sick and i was just like why am i sick like i barely fall sick if you know me i literally barely fall sick so i was like why am i actually sick eventually i got better i just want to shout out to my best friend guys like my best friend was literally there for me like throughout like i don't think a lot of people even knew you know <laughs> i was so scared like i was so scared to go out and i wasn't even seeing anyone at that period like at that time because i was like oh even if i have this stuff like i don't want to see anybody because i don't want to like give anybody anything so it was just like my best friend that was taking care of me at that time 
eventually i got better like everything sha <laughs> like everything left after some time i just took what did i even take step i took of course i took vitamin c all the antibiotics all the everything i took it i took everything <laughs> since then like i have not like fallen sick i haven't nothing has happened to me i actually haven't fallen sick like i haven't gotten flu i haven't gotten anything like i'm so grateful to god to be honest so after that thing happened see me mask everything like if i'm stepping out of the house i'm wearing mask i'm being nobody's touching me nobody's talking in my face like i was that careful because i was like very very scared even though i didn't think it was covid that happened whether it was or whether it wasn't i hope it was about well. any house yeah yeah i was like still really really scared so i'm just glad that whatever it was i'm just glad that it went like i'm just glad that it went but you guys what do you guys think do you think i had it could i have had it i don't know even though i was having all the symptoms i still i kind of still don't believe that i had it i, just, I feel like it was just i just feel like it was just a common flu i don't want to believe that i had it anyway i don't know but yeah what do you guys think you guys tell me in the comment section do you think i had covid because i <laughs> I never went to do a test, so I don't even know if I had it, but I don't ever want to have it. To be honest, I don't want to have it. Right now, we are actually in... This is March. We are actually... um We just went online, because we've been going offline, actually, since this school. This is my school. We've actually been going offline since. We just started online, like, two days ago. So after that, now, when we were now in doing online classes that time, I had, like, more free time. So I decided to um focus on my Instagram. I was trying to be consistent that time, because... I had time then if i'm being honest with you guys this thing is not easy i think that is even another question somebody asked me like how do i manage um content creating with um school and everything to be honest like, it is not easy at all and that is why most times i'm not really active on here or active on instagram i know that there's really no excuse like that for inconsistency if you have to do something you can always create time for it but to be frank with you guys, school was killing me. I can't lie. I can't lie. I'm someone that enjoys creating content. I enjoy like doing my makeup. I enjoy doing all of that. But when you think about school, like <laughs> to be honest, like it's just there's no vibe, there's nothing because you're just thinking about school, thinking about other things that you have to do. But then yeah, that period. I decided to be more consistent with Instagram um, and I think I was posting on YouTube. I was trying to be consistent on Instagram and I was actually active there and my Instagram engagement actually got higher. I got quite a number of followers, putting <laughs> out videos and all of that. I went to Kiev, I traveled. <laughs> I traveled though, guys, I traveled. <laughs> I actually traveled, I went to Kiev, but then of course I was like protected and all that. So I went to Kiev, I went to my cousin, um, then I, yeah, I basically just had fun. That was like July, August. It was nice, I did a lot of things. I even vlogged, like I even vlogged, so if you've not seen those videos, if you have not seen those videos, please go back and watch those videos, I beg, I'm begging you guys, like, go and watch those videos so that summer, so that this summer, this summer, this summer. I'm going to put on more content for you guys. This summer I'm traveling, guys. I'm traveling. I'm going back to Nigeria for summer. And I'll come back. Anyway, September came and we went back offline. When I told you guys I'm at school. <laughs> yeah, that is when I started being inconsistent again, guys. And I wasn't posting on Instagram as much as I was before. And YouTube as well. Whew. I'm tired <laughs> then in december i decided to do vlogmas i did i think i did like what 12 days of christmas 12 days of vlogmas also if you have not seen those videos please go and watch them i think that was the last thing i uploaded this is going to be the first video of the year so that's what happened 2020 that's why i'm saying that 2020 was actually a good year it wasn't so bad i enjoyed the year like i said i think it's because i went with a positive mind and you know i just wanted to enjoy the year so it was actually a nice year, it wasn't bad. Anyway, let's get to 2021. 2021 so far has been, has actually been pretty nice. It hasn't been bad. In January, I'm still having school offline. I had just like one week break from December to January. They don't really give break in my school like Christmas break. <laughs> oh yeah, so let me tell you guys. In January, I left this apartment that I'm staying in currently 
I left this apartment because it's a long story but I left this apartment and then I went to another apartment and you're actually going to be seeing vlogs from that house like where I was staying then you're going to be seeing vlogs from that place because I filmed there I filmed actually filmed a life update before guys I actually filmed a life update before in that house but then I didn't like it and I think I even lost some clips that's why I'm filming another life update I filmed quite a lot of videos in that house some I'll be uploading some I will not but the vlogs are going to see after this video I filmed them in that house and then I moved back here so I stayed in that house January, February, and then I came back here. Okay, you're going to be seeing vlogs of that other house anyway. That is that's that's the point of what I'm saying. Just wanted to explain to you guys so that when you see vlogs, you won't be confused. Yeah, and that is what has been going on with me. That's all that's been going on to be honest. Now we're back online, we're doing online classes, and I'm here filming again. Guys, I'm trying to learn how to manage my time. It is something that I really want to learn how to do because I tend to waste time on a lot of things that don't really matter <laughs> and that is something that i'm trying to change this 2020 so that is going to bring me to um my goals for 2020 this 2020 world i mean god that brings me to uh my goals and the things i'm trying to achieve this 2021 this video is going to be long <laughs> okay guys so let me quickly talk about this so at the beginning of the year i made a vision board i don't know if you guys know about this but a vision board is basically a board a frame basically a frame that you put basically all your goals and everything that you want to achieve for the year or for this particular period of time you put everything on the frame so basically me normally i whatever i want to achieve for this period of time whatever i want to achieve for a year i usually write it down and i usually like just put it in my book and i just leave it there and work towards achieving it but then this time i decided to try something different and that is putting everything on a vision board so i've been seeing a lot of people do this i've been seeing like a lot of people that inspire me do this and they actually say that it has worked for them so because i'm already used to putting everything i want to achieve and all of that on paper so now i decided to print it out like get pictures from the internet get pictures from anywhere you want to get it print it out and then put it on your vision board so i did this at the beginning of the year i can't show you guys my vision board but i'm just going to like put pictures here and like try and explain to you guys what it's all about for instance if it is that you want to get a car okay you can take a picture of your car of your car yes of your car you have to start claiming it you have to have an so you can take a picture of your car get a picture from the internet put it on your vision board if it's, if it's a ring light you want to get if it's a ring light you want to get you want to start content creating you want to start photography anything camera anything take a picture of your ring light take a picture of whatever it is that you want and put it on your vision board and as you see it every single day it will kind of like remind you okay and then you just keep on putting work putting effort and you know it's manifest by his grace of course that is um basically what i did at the beginning of the year i just wanted to tell you guys about that because it's something that i'm really excited about if you are interested in doing it you can try it out and i hope it works out so you guys tell me if you're going to be making a vision board okay let me know in the comment section if you're going to be making a vision board and what you think of it basically this is a disaster <laughs> anyway guys i just finished um drying my brows my ear hurts like my ear is literally red guys my black ear is red how another thing i'd like to achieve is grow my youtube channel of course like i've wanted to grow my youtube channel since but i know that i have not been consistent at all on youtube so how do i even expect that to happen right but this year this year i am really looking to grow my youtube channel i'm really looking to stop disappearing and appearing like i've been doing for the past so many years so yeah anything that you'd want to see from me please let me know and i'll be sure to do that video if i'm doing hauls because i know that my fashion over haul is doing quite well if i'm doing hauls that means a babe has to have money <laughs> so as you guys are telling me though please just be sending me money okay <laughs> yeah if you want to see hauls if you want to see anything basically just let me know in the comment section and i'll work towards that <clears throat> guys i am working on something quite exciting this year 
and it's going to be happening pretty soon i'm super excited about that i can't tell you guys what it is right now if you can guess guess what well, you will not get it you probably don't get it <laughs> i can't tell you guys right now but it's happening really really soon and when it happens please i want to beg everybody okay i want to beg everybody edjo bao what again biko everything please you guys support me i need you guys support on this one because i'm spending a lot of time i'm spending money i'm spending i'm literally putting my whole into this i have been having sleepless nights because i'm thinking about it trying to get everything in order i'm talking too much okay i'm talking too much <laughs> but yeah please guys when it comes out please support your girl okay yeah i'm just going to keep quiet until it happens and i'll tell you guys what it is i'll come on here of course like the thing is we're saying like in my vlog i'm going to take you guys along basically that is something i'm very very excited about and i cannot wait for it to happen okay let me go into the rest of the questions that you guys asked me on instagram okay someone asked how do you cope with so much artistry talent and your location hashtag boundaries sis how do i even put this it is actually quite hard it's actually quite hard because creating content is one thing in a place that is kind of I really don't know how to put it but okay let me let me give you guys an example right for instance you're getting pr you're a content creator and a brand that is in the us or in the uk or somewhere else wants to send you products for you to like advertise or something like that and then because of your location it is not impossible but it's quite hard this thing has happened to me before on two occasions two occasions okay one time a brand like a brand reached out to me wanted to send me products i told them my location and all of that and they they didn't get back to me <laughs> like they actually didn't get back to me and then of course i knew that oh it was because of my location i wanted to get something i ordered something right from the us and then they were going to ship it to me so i paid for this thing online did everything and then i get a message from people that i ordered the stuff from and then they're like oh that's where i am it is a what did they even say was so like that it's a rural area so i had to pay 25 extra 25 extra dollars for me to get that thing so yeah it's it's, it's not easy basically it's really not easy the second question is would you like to practice as a doctor full-time after school people have been asking me this particular question Medicine is just something that I really like. It might not be as easy studying it, but it's something that I'm really interested in. Yes, I'm actually interested in practicing, but at the same time, when I graduate, I might change my mind. So I really can't say for now. I'm going to content creating, by his grace, if everything works out well, I start getting some money. Mm, 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 mm. If I start getting some money, like I would want to concentrate on the one that is bringing me more money. I'm just saying, but when that time shall comes, when that time shall comes, I don't even necessarily have to practice. I can go into um, public health. I can do other stuff. Your favorite YouTuber. I told you guys to ask me questions, life updates. Are you asking me? <laughs> Are you guys asking me who's your favorite YouTuber? Anyway, I have a lot of um favorite people right now of course nella rose andrea emma tetum vivian okese youtubers like kamsi namani um ihoma eze mimi j i watch them a lot who else who am i missing myself of course diane ob excuse me i feel like i'm missing a lot of people but i have a lot of favorite youtubers but yeah um i also watch um sarah Kiola. i watch um i am yechi i watch i have see dima ume see everybody everybody i can't choose because i love i love watching everybody's content oh my god i forgot only bells how can i forget only bells next question what's your go-to makeup look this right here this right here that you're seeing this is my go-to makeup look like this is what i do most of the time um the rest are just compliments please explain the deal behind your beauty because haha <laughs> will you marry me do you have a man do i have a man you guys you guys answer for me okay do i have a man so currently i am not in a relationship right now if you knew that okay if you did not i don't know <laughs> but yeah i'm currently not in a relationship i've not been in a while 
it's actually been a while like I honestly can't remember but it has been quite a while what course or oh, someone asked what course are you in I am currently in my fifth year fifth year of medical school how old are you I am 20 I'll be turning 21 in October October 10th tell me why I look at the videos I've been recording and I'm seeing how messed up my hair is this hair is so bad you guys have to ignore this hair I'm probably going to cut this side out this hair is like way too bad why didn't anybody tell me mm, you guys <laughs> anyway um I thought that my mic was not plugged in so you guys the audio is probably going to be different you're probably going to notice a difference in the audio yeah I was going to continue what was I saying somebody asked what city are you in I'm currently in Sumi Sumi state Ukraine let me just pop on some lashes and I'll be right back okay guys so I just fixed my lashes and tried to complete the rest of my makeup I'm just going to be applying lip gloss now and that is going to be the end that is all okay I didn't tell you guys what I used on my face so for powder I used Tatcha Buttercup setting powder I used my revolution highlighter I used um what else bronzer for my bronzer i just used um the brown shade from my eyeshadow palette actually and then i'm going to be setting my makeup with the revolution sport fix mm. my god okay okay <laughs> okay oh my god i love this setting spray so much and it is in my eye but yeah Ooh, oh oh no girl 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 well yeah that is all for this video guys i've wanted to do this live update since like i said before i did one before and i couldn't post that one but yeah i'm finally done i hope you guys like this look this is just like a sort of kind of everyday not so everyday this is just like when you're going out but you don't want to do too much so i hope you guys liked this video thank you so much for coming and chatting with me i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you thought about this video in the description box. I'm looking to do more sit down videos. I know I actually don't do sit down videos, but I'm looking to do more. And yeah, basically that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey, speak to me kindly. I'm the type of girl you call wifey. Yeah.